Hello guys, Sadek Pandey here from Indian Vfx School and you are watching Basic 2 Advanced Flip series inside of Hoodme. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe and join our Facebook page. You can also head to our website and check out our courses on Hoodme, Phoenix FD, Typhlow etc. and book yourself for 7 days free demo class. And watch by yourself how some of the students have made to the top studios in just 2 months of our course. Alright guys, so welcome to this first part of our foam series. Okay. So in this part, uh, first of all, we are going to see like how we can make the source for the form. So, you know, like whenever there is a simulation, whenever, whenever there is a flip simulation. So in order to create white water, we need to create the white water source first. So that means like uh, what are the places from where the white water is going to emit. Okay. And yep, let's start. So, so first of all, I'll just set up a really quick uh, basic flip simulation. Okay. And if you don't know about uh, flip simulation, you can just watch our basic to advanced flip series. Okay. And like we are having more than two flip series and you can, you know, just start from the completely basic, completely beginner and you can really go to a good level. Okay. All right. So first of all, we need a flip object. So flip object helps us in bringing the data like what we want to convert into particles. So by default, we have this box already. Okay, then I will add a flip solver. So this is the brain for the flip simulation. So all the solving happens over here. Let's not go to this dark realm. Okay, let's stay on our realm only and we can just connect it like this. And now let's add a gravity force. Okay. So, yep, we will have something like this. And right now the like the bounding box is really big. So I will, you know, just decrease it. I'll put it to a size of 555. Okay. And yep, so we are having something like this. Now, uh, let me just in, uh, go to this flip object, click on this closed boundary. So, you know, these walls will act as a collider. And in this particle separation, I can set it to something like 0 0.03. And, you know, we will have a basic flip simulation right away. Okay. So now the thing is, we need to uh, detect the places from where the foam is going to come out. Okay. So let's uh, talk about the methodology, like what happens in reality, because I think like a lot of people, they, you know, just uh, don't like, they don't know like how the foam works. Okay. So let's, so if you have been to my tutorials, you know, like we always try to understand the real world uh, aspect, like the, what happens in the physical world. And then we go into the uh, simulation. So let's see how uh, like how the foam works and what is like foam event. Okay. So if you see over here, you can see, let's say uh, if there's a like kind of river and let's say we have some stones in between. Okay. So let's say uh, I'll just, you know, I'll just make some stones over here. So let's say we have some stones. Okay. In the river. Okay. And we have a river over here. Okay. So the river is flowing like this. Okay. So when it's moving in a straight path, it doesn't really produces any kind of foam. So this is known as, I mean, obviously a river will never flow in a, say, like, uh, in a, like, you know, complete straight path because there's like always bending and curves and all those stuff going on. So whenever the river, it, you know, it collides with anything, like it might be stone, it might be anything. So what happens is, you know, like, uh, it changes its path. Okay. And you know, that is like, uh, those things are like calculated by the vorticity. Okay. I mean, vorticity means like the churning of the uh, like velocity so like so here you can see i mean we cannot use the velocity aspect so uh, let me like uh, really you know make this thing really clear so when something goes in a straight path it has velocity okay so velocity is there but there is like no vorticity so vorticity it doesn't have any vorticity okay but the thing is when as soon as that uh, particle or anything it starts changing changing its direction so let's say if the vector was like so that's what it is like if the vector is completely straight if it's just going into one direction okay it won't really have any vorticity but as soon as it, it starts changing its direction it will have vorticity okay and as soon as anything has vorticity uh, it produces you know foam now let's talk about like how does that thing even happens in real life okay so what happens is like when we so this river is coming in a straight path and when it gets collided with the stone, you know, it will start having all those, you know, motion. Okay. So the, uh, you know, the water will start having like, you know, disruptive motion, same over here, you, you know, it will collide, it will go up in the air and it will fall. So like, how is the, like, how is it, you know, even forming that foam? Okay. So let's first talk about like, what is foam? And why does it, why is it so that we see foam in some river, in some ocean, but we don't see foam everywhere. Okay. So what happens is like, what is foam? So foams, 
foam is like nothing but it is just air bubble it is just air which is trapped inside our uh, you know water so uh, let's talk about water like how does water behave so you know water like let's say if you have water in a bucket so let's say we have some water over here and if you know if you move your hand uh, inside this okay if you just disrupt the uh, like uh, you know static water what will happen you will see some bubbles okay and those bubbles are you know so when you uh, so let's say if you completely submerge your hand inside the water and if you move your hand so nothing will happen but let's say if you're on the surface and you know if you start like splashing the water you will see that it will start forming these small bubbles okay and after like maybe just after one or two seconds they just burst and the reason is because you know uh, like every water it has a surface tension so what is surface tension so surface tension is like the property of the water to behave like an elastic membrane so whenever uh, we have two liquid droplet they will always try to you know converge into each other and they will just try to form one okay so uh, you know water it behaves like an elastic membrane so it always tries to uh, you know collapse itself like it always try to uh, have its volume in a like least surface area and that is why we always see water droplets we always see spherical water droplets and not square because in any moment of given time you know like sphere will always have the least volume because it doesn't has any corner so that's why we always see round water droplets now what happens is when we talk so this is a clear water it doesn't has any impurities but when we talk about river or ocean so what happens is we see more foam over there and the reason is because you know the surface tension of the water that reduces when we talk about you know uh, like uh, like ri river or you know maybe any dirty water so it doesn't have to be dirty but what happens is like whenever so let's say if you mix soap in water what happens is you will see a lot of bubbles because it directly affects the surface tension of the liquid you know so it's affecting the surface tension the surface and like the surface tension it reduces and that's why uh, when the air gets trapped so the water is like uh, not able to contract itself and the air remains over there so that's why we see a lot of foam so same thing happens over here as soon as the liquid as soon as the water it collides with these uh, you know with these uh, rocks i mean they they bounce and all okay and what happens uh, so when when you know when this uh, disruption happens whenever water collides and you know it rises and then it falls back on the uh, water surface so it takes lot of air with itself and you know that air just goes back into the water and you know so now it it's trapping lot of air and that air is like not able to you know reduce like release because you know uh, those are air bubbles and the surface tension of the water is less so that's why we start seeing these foam so foam is once again if you just look at really close pictures of foam you will see those are nothing but just you know some air bubbles and that is what it is so in order to produce foam how we work in flip is like whenever the liquid is going in a straight path we don't have any vorticity but as soon as it changes the path so that means it's getting collided somewhere and that is the place and so what we do is we take out these uh, like so let me just explain uh, let me just change the color and so what we do is we you know we uh, like somehow uh, you know like take these particles only we remove these particles we just take these particles and we source these particles to the white water solver and you know from here new white water is generated okay so that is about the like how we work with the, like that is how we you know uh, tackle the white water uh, simulation okay all right so you can see we already have this uh, uh, flip simulation now let's just go ahead and you know start doing the white, like start making these sources so the one thing that you really need to do before doing this is like go to this flip solver and in order to calculate vorticity we need to turn it on so go to this particle motion vorticity and just turn on this add vorticity attribute so that is it now let's just go back and let i'll just call it uh, flip let's do a control c let's make a geo folder okay let's go inside it and let's add a dop io okay and you can you know just paste this network path over here and let's choose uh flip fluid so once again i'm going really fast on this topic because you know if you want to see the basics about flip simulation you can just go ahead and watch our previous tutorials like they are like completely if you don't have any knowledge in hodni still you'll be able to follow along those uh, courses okay so just go to our channel and just check it out so you can see we have the particles over there and yep that is fine so you know like if you don't want to go through all the hassle you don't want you don't care about how the white water is like how the sources are made what you can do is you can just use a uh, it's a pre-built node it's known as white water source okay 
so that will you know right away it will give you uh, this white water source but i don't really like using it because you know it is like really slow and then we miss the part of you know making our own custom uh, simulations because you know like uh, it's already doing everything for you and it's also slow so why not let's just look into the metalog methodology and let, let's just work with it okay all right so what we can do is we can just come over here and <clears throat> the first thing that i need to do is i'll add a group expression sorry not the group but the group expression so this way with this group expression i'll be able to extract out all the particles which are having lots of vorticity so let's say if i click over here you can see we already have this vorticity attribute and if i click you can see as see uh, right now it's not having any vorticity but as soon those particles they start changing path you can see how it's you know it's colored now and you can see they are having some vorticity so right now it's not really able to tell us lot about it okay so let me just go into this group expression and i'll just call it uh vorti city okay and what i'll do is i will write an expression over here i will say add the rate vorticity is greater than maybe 15 and you can see nothing is happening because the group type it's set to primitive it's expecting primitives maybe if you know uh Houdini knows <laughs> this is points but you know Houdini is just dumb so let's change it to points and you will see right away we will have some selection in the points and you can see right now none of the particles they were selected but as soon as they start changing their path those particles they are selected because uh that's how what that's what happens in the real life also you know so whenever uh there is churning when there whenever there is like turbulence in the uh, liquid so the air gets dissolved into into the liquid and it forms the foam and everything so you know you can see it has like these particles they are like being selected and this is you know these particles are what which are going to produce the white water you always need to be you know careful about this like not select a lot of points so maybe 20 is also fine we just want some of the points so that you know the void white water looks very distinct it's not like we want white water everywhere okay all right so we have this now let's just add a blast node okay so i just want to keep these particles and not the normal ones so let's click on this blast and right now it it expects a group uh, so i can you know just choose this vorticity group which i've created over here so right now it's deleting uh, that vorticity group but i don't want that i just want to keep that and delete everything else so i can just click on this delete non selected and we will have these particles okay so you might be thinking okay so that is it that is uh, like uh, that is it for the white water source but that's not the case we need to do one more step so we need to convert them into a vdb so because uh, our new white water solver it expects vdbs and not the points and the reason is because vdbs they are like you know they are like a lot better so let's say if you have maybe a single point it won't really consider you know it will consider the volume and everything and it's also really fast so this process might not make sense and believe me when i did this it also didn't made any sense but as soon as i got experience i realized okay so the vdbs are like a lot better when it comes to the sourcing so if you don't understand you cannot really do anything just follow along and you know so a lot of times you need to you know uh, just uh, mug up the process in order to make something okay so we'll just have to go through it okay so like what i'll have to do is i need to add a vdb from particles okay so i need to create a vdb so let's say if these were uh, polygons we could have used a vdb from polygons because but because these are particles we need to use a vdb from particles and you will have an error like this just you know in this minimum radius in voxel just reduce it and instead of this distance vdb change it to fog vdb okay and you can see we have some vdbs so we have just converted the particles into vdbs and in this voxel size you can also increase it maybe you can just link it with the flip uh, simulation so what you can do is you know you can just come over here and the particle separation whatever you have over here copy parameter and you can just do a paste relative references over here and you know we have these vdb kind of this smoke and this is what where the uh, where our new white water particles will be sourced so could we have done in this way yeah we could have done in this way and it would be like exactly the same but the thing is you know this is just a little bit better you can see we were having some particles over here and those are just gone over here okay so vdb it's like you know a lot better uh, to use okay so it will just clear out those small noises okay yeah so we have this thing now we can just you know add a null over here and i have missed one step and i'll show you that in the next part when we are going to actually set up our uh, white water simulation so that is it for the this part and we can just call it white water source okay so that is it that is how we create white water source and you can also cache out your flip simulation but we are just going to do in the last part right now i'm just uh, explaining the process itself and these are the places from where the white water is going to uh, emit all right so that is it for the first part uh, i mean because creating source is like 
like understanding source like how how white water uh, generates how that uh, thing get produced it's like very important okay because that is the only way we can you know really tweak uh, these simulations later okay so that is it for this part let's meet in the next part and we will see like how we can uh, simulate the white water itself okay bye bye